Um, so let's just get started. Hi, everyone. It's Mila, and um, welcome to the Chaos Mesh March community meeting. I believe it's been a while since we had one of these, so we've got uh, a lot to cover, both for the community and for the technical updates. Um, let's move on to the agenda here. We've got first some tech updates from Kuao, I believe. And then I'll give you the community updates and then we will have a quick Q&A session if anyone has any questions. So let's just get to it. Uh, go on. Okay. Right there. Okay. Right. Can you see the my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, I, I am Kao, and I'm here to share the technical updates in the past three months. Okay. Oh, oh, we have introduced a lot of new features. The graceful shutdown would avoid leaving redundant injection while you are stopping or restarting tail standard, especially for the HTTP chaos. And the time chaos will also inject time skill for not only clock get time function, but also the get time of day function. As reported by the community, the Java standard library usually use this function to get the time. Uh, what's more, if you are a user of Azure, you may want to try the Azure chaos, which can stop or restart the Azure instance or detach the volume. For the injection on a physical machine, we also supported shutdown and interface in Linux and provide some wrapper on the JVM injection to help you inject into the MySQL Java client. Meanwhile, there are a lot of things we are working on. I know there are a lot of features that you may have waited for a long time. For example, the status check, the force recovery, the IO latency injection for the block layer and the API deprecation policy and auto migration. We are also working on improving the developer experience like auto generation of TS API client and web form from the open API and some suggestions on handling arrows and printing logs in the chaos mesh. In this meeting, I and Zhiqiang will share the thoughts on handling arrow and printing log from the team. Though we haven't met for the last three months, the release still keeps the pace. We have released several minor versions with a lot of bug fixes. If you are suffering from any one of them, upgrading to the latest version will definitely help. Oh, do you have any questions about the technical updates? Uh, feel free to take the mic if you have. Okay, if there is no more questions, I could move on to the next section. Uh, let me give you a brief introduction to the arrow handling pattern inside the Kills Mesh. Uh, before talking about the arrow handling, I would like to show our goals on drafting the suggestion. The first is to keep it easy. We don't want to increase the burden of developers and don't expect our developers to predict anything. I don't want them to predict whether the information is needed or whether this error will be asserted. No, just don't be afraid. Make sure we will still have a chance to modify the error handling part in the future. Another goal is to help the program, the programmer and the user to handle the error. The program may need to assert the sep or separate different errors. The programmer may want to know what's happening when this error occurs. The user may need to know whether he can solve this problem by himself or need to submit this error to the GitHub issue. And the final principle is that our developers and reviewers are all brilliant. We should always be more confident with them than the simple rules. So these examples or patterns are only a suggestion. 
you uh, literally free to follow them or not according to your special situation. But if you have searched the Golang arrow handling in the Google, you can find tons of the articles describing their strategy and the thoughts about the arrow handling. Actually, we also learned a lot from them, especially the Uber Go style. Why the Kill Smash team is special and need to write its own policy? Here are a list of things which we will consider, but it seems that others not. The Kill Smash should handle arrows from a lot of different places, like the Kubernetes, the Kill Standard components, and the arrows also have different def destinations, like the Kubernetes events, the alert information in the UI, or it's just printed to the log. Here is the example about how we considered the arrow across the gRPC. The colleague should handle the inside arrow like a normal Golang program, but when it wants to return the arrow to the caller, it needs to convert the arrow into the gRPC status and provide a function for the caller to assert this arrow. And there are a lot of examples like this in the RFC. If you want to know more about the details of arrow handling patterns in Kelsmash, you could check the RFC or read all the discussion under the PR. And it would be also grateful for you to provide your suggestions under our PR or discussion. And the arrow is the first part of the, this introduction. In the next section, I would invite Zhi Qiang to share our progress on the observability and logging. Hi, Zhi Qiang. Hi, hi. Uh, okay, I will stop me. my sharing. Wait. Wait a moment. I could you see my uh, screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Zhi Qiang, and uh, I am the committee of Chaos Mesh. Uh, and I uh, would introduce uh, another our uh, working progress about uh, observability, uh, something like uh, logging and the metrics of Chaos Mesh. Um, and uh, and there is a, a new idea about the new uh, the, the new feature still under discussion uh, about the uh, Chaos experiment uh, observability. And uh, well, as we could see that Chaos Mesh was uh, growing very fast in the last several years and the Chaos Mesh is kind of a, a complex software. Uh, it contains many components from a Linux kernel module as uh, the fuse and, and the, the, the Kubernetes reconciler and uh, even the front end web pages. Uh, we found that uh, it is going to be harder to inspect and explain how Chaos Mesh works well, uh, caused by the lack of observability. Uh, we are working on enhancing observability from the developer from the developer side, and uh, we have made some progress on it. Uh, then let me share them with you. Uh, about the logging, uh, currently logging is the most important way to inspect the behavior of uh, each component of Chaos Mesh. Uh, for providing issues and uh, uh, debug uh, and debugging, uh, it used to be a mess about uh, the uh, the logging and uh, there, there still exists an open issue about the bad logging. Uh, we want to bring more useful and efficient logging uh, libraries to user and developers. Uh, as a universal logging use patterns, uh, also as the guidelines, uh, there are several goals of refined log uh, refined logging. Uh, including uh, the uh, format of the logging we will use, structured structured logging and multi-level logging, and uh, uh, also there is a guideline uh, uh, about which level should I use. Uh, the and the logger could be configured at runtime and take the developing experiment, like uh, uh, developers could print logging from uh, any lines of code. Uh, about more details of logging, you could find this R RFC uh, named, uh, named logging. Uh, this RFC also uh, includes some guidelines about uh, how to print logging properly. Yeah. Uh, it could be very helpful if you uh, have interest, interest in uh, contributing codes to Chaos Mesh. 
and we are working on refining log, uh, refining log, log logs in our uh, existing code base. Uh, here is a uh, here is a, a tra tracking issue. Uh, it's kind of uh, it's actually kind of a refactoring, uh, existing uh, refactoring existing code, uh, and uh, I think uh, all the uh, de uh, all the detailed tasks it had uh, have been labeled with good first issue, and you, know, you could pick one and self assign to uh, take a contribution. Uh, and current status is uh, listed here. Uh, there, 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 are, uh, there, are, uh, there are already 12 done and 11 uh, issues waiting for taking. Okay, uh, the next part is the metrics. Uh, we have made uh, LFX mentorship with uh, enhancing metrics about uh, chaos mesh and huge thanks to uh, our mentee, uh, Tony Skate. Uh, there are lots of metrics appended. And the last progress about uh, metrics is we are going to provide the documentations, uh, examples, and graph and a dashboard for monitoring case mesh. Uh, the documents will describe the way to uh, configure uh, uh, Prometheus to monitoring chaos mesh. Uh, for example, uh, if you are using Prometheus, Operator, uh, that is the example. We would pro, pro provide the example of service monitoring. Or uh, if you do not using uh, anything like Prometheus operator, uh, we, we, we also would provide the suggest suggestion uh, like the uh, plan script configure file. Uh, we also provide a preset, a preset graph on dashboard. Uh, let's take a look at it. It's uh, one of the Graphon dashboard, you, you could search it from uh, the uh, Graphon dashboard page. Uh, you, you could type chaos mesh and search it. Uh, it's an overview of the chaos mesh uh, and it would introduce the existing experiment schedule, uh, workflow, and, and the kinds of uh, the, the, kind, uh, the, the number of different kinds of experiment. And the next part is uh, the activities of chaos mesh. It's uh, also uh, it is also uh, bounded with the events emitted to the Kubernetes uh, when an experiment uh, executes some operations uh, such as an uh, injection or uh, recover. Uh, it would emit uh, some events and uh, the events would be recorded uh, as metrics and then display, uh, then, then be displayed as what you see now. And the bottom row is uh, the number, so the instance number of uh, each component. Uh, it is quite simply, uh, it, it is quite simple now. Uh, we, we, we would keep, uh, keep updating it in the future. The next dashboard is about detailed metrics about the cast daemon, um, about the row number of IP tables, IP set, and the networking traffic with certain IP tables rules. Uh, and uh, the next row is metrics of uh, metrics about background progress manager, uh, which is one of the important, uh, which is one of the important uh, component to a span progress uh, span process with injecting container uh, in chaos daemon. Uh, yet this this uh, graph and dashboard is would be very helpful to uh, profile and. Uh, to profile issues and bugs for uh, chaos mesh developers. Uh, at last, I want to talk a little more about the um, observability. And um, there are three uh, failure of observability metrics, uh, logging, and tracing. Uh, we only talked about first two components, and we also keep working on the uh, enhancement of those of. Uh, metrics and logging. Uh, about the tracing, uh, we think we could integrate with uh, tracing of uh, tracing framework like open telemetry uh, in the future. Uh, because uh, uh, even the uh, even most of Kubernetes components like Kubernetes and the Kubernetes API server already uh, integrate with uh, open tele uh, open telemetry. Uh, I think it would not be so far to uh, come true, uh, and we, uh, and maybe we could 
uh, do some upstream contributing to the uh, uh, controller runtime. And uh, the last topic is uh, want uh, want what we want to monitor. First of all, uh, the uh, components of chaos mesh should be uh, should expose uh, observability to explain the codes works well and more. Uh, we also want to bring uh, more observability of each chaos experiment. Uh, chaos experiment. So uh, that is chaos experiment observability. Uh, that's a, a new idea uh, still uh, in uh, still, still under discussion and still under design. And it, it, here it is. Uh, I have created. Uh, I have a quick uh, discussion on GitHub. Uh, the discussion uh, 3012 and uh, it introduces the detailed description of the new uh, the, uh, the new ideas and uh, I, I think I should <laughs> take a short explain to, uh, uh, to 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 your to you now uh, that uh, there are two approaches to make the new ideas first is um, enriching the uh, uh, enriching the uh, 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 sorry Enriching the observability of a chaos experiment itself, uh, it means chaos mesh would probe the tightly related metrics. Like, uh, uh, it means chaos mesh would probe the tightly related metrics uh, at the runtime, uh, like uh, networking connectivity latency uh, with network chaos, a CPU memory usage uh, for IO chaos. Of, uh, sorry, CCPU memory usage for space chaos and IO statistics for IO chaos and so on. Uh, it would let you know about uh, what actually a chaos experiment affected resources at uh, the system or uh, and the application. Uh, in other words, it would also prove that uh, a chaos experiment does actually works as expected. Uh, another approach is uh, bring more tightly relationship with chaos experiment and uh, applica application level metrics. Uh, each application would expose um, uh, important metrics. Uh, when chaos experiments operate, these metrics is a key to measure the uh, application is still working or not. Uh, I think maybe we could integrate with um, monitoring stack, for example, uh, integrating with Grafana, uh, Elastic Stack, that or, that, that, that Datadog or other platform, uh, just the display metrics chart nearby the uh, chaos experiment on the chaos dashboard. Yeah, it, it does uh, what it says, improve the user experiment. And it would also give hints to users these metrics are important and it's the key to measure the result of chaos experiment. I think it might uh, it might bring a better user experiments. Uh, please let us know if you agree or disagree uh, with this idea. And if you have any question or suggestion, uh, feel free to leave any comments on the discussion. Uh, thanks, that's all. Hi, Mila, please take over. All right. Um, thanks, guys, for the updates. And um, now I'll give you a quick review of what's been going on in the community in the past five months. Uh, first of all, I just want to quickly let everyone know that, it, in case you don't, that Chaos Mesh is now officially an incubating project. It's been a little over a year since we joined the Sandbox and we're honored to be recognized as uh, mature enough to be part of the incubator. So this of course would not, would not have been uh, possible without all the efforts from the developers, the contributors, the um, community and adopters of course. So thanks to you all for the efforts. And we're also, hold on, excited that Chaos Mesh will be participating in Google Summer of Code 2022. Our lovely mentors, I believe, 
uh, have put together a few great ideas. One of them is single binary de deployment outside Kubernetes environment, and the other is RPC across different namespaces through Unix socket. Um, the applications are open from April 4th, and this year, I believe, are not limited to just students. So anyone can basically apply for this wonderful opportunity. So you can start discussing ideas with the mentors from now under the issues, of course. And we want to give a quick shout out to the new contributors that joined us in the past few months. Thanks everyone for your contributions. And we're also excited to welcome a new committer, Si Yu Chen. Uh, she has been an integral part of um, Chaos Mash for over half a year. And she has contributed new features, including stuff like physical machine authentication and leader election on the Chaos Control Manager. So uh, I believe we'll see more of her in our community meetings in the future months. So um, here's to the future. And also we've got a few great resources. One of them is by Si Wen or Chen Wen. He was recently invited by Scott from Full Stack Journey to talk about Chaos Mesh and whether you should embrace chaos engineering if you have been wondering about if you should get started, so you should check out the episode. And also, we invited our friend Alex Kairov from Prudential uh, last month to our webinar to chat about how Chaos Mesh facilitates and simplifies AI ops platform adoption for um, Prudential. So it's it's really great and it's super interesting. I think you all should check that one out. And um, I will up, upload, upload the slides to the community meeting minutes after this session is over. So make sure to check that out. And that's it for the community updates, I believe. Anyone has any questions or would like to discuss anything, please unmute yourself. and talk away. Excuse me, I have a question about the chaos match observability and uh, I can question in Chinese, can I? Yes, please. Yeah, sure. Okay, 刚才听强哥说那个, uh, chaos match the chaos-match的可观测性,然后我刚才截了一个图,那个PPT上面, 说我们的可观测性分为三种方式是吧通过指标日志和追链路追踪的方式对吗呃是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的是的
，那那链路追踪大概想做到什么程度呢？链路追踪是追踪的我们 Cosmetic 这边的故障的实验的链路呢，还是对应的产品的链路呢？呃 ，OK， 呃，是，哎，呃，请再说一下，那你你可以再复述一下你的产品是指什么？嗯、是指被被测的应用吗？对背测应用，这个链路追踪追踪的是背测应用上面的一些链路呢，还是我们实验的本身的一个链路？呃，答呃是是实验本身的链路。OK。呃呃 ，I think 呃、uh, ，the next question is 呃、uh, about tracing 呃、uh, ，what、uh, which kind of tracing would be implemented？ 呃、uh, ，the tracing of chaos mesh components or Uh, the tracing uh, integrated with the injected uh, application. Uh, the answer is we would only build the tracing uh, in the chaos mesh, and I and we think uh, we do not uh, affect the tracing of uh, the uh, the injected application. Uh, yeah. OK， 然后嗯，还有一个问题就是，因为我看到你前面有个 preview 上面已经显示了用 Grafana， 然后加普罗米修斯实现了我们实验的一些指标的一个监控，对吧？应该那是指标的监控吧？呃、我看那个图上面。是的。然后这个、呃、下一页没了，呃，在下一页没了，啊，也，呃，请说，请说。嗯，这个指标的监控这一块的话。嗯，我看之前群里好像就已经有把那个呃 g r a p h n a 还有普罗米修斯加我们 Cosmetic 做了一个联动，对吧？然后可以把它装完了之后，直接在 g r a p h n a 上面直接看到我们的 Cosmetic，、嗯、对吧？然后这、嗯、这一块是不是就是我们现在提到的这个指标监控的那个实现方式？呃呃，不完全是，呃是这样，就是之前提到的，呃。就是您您之前说的那个 graph 的插件，它其实是一个把实验的事件用 annotation 的形式和应用级别的呃和应用自身的 metrics 进行一起展示的一种方式。而这里提到的 monitoring chaos mesh， 其实说的是 chaos mesh 自身的一些监控。呃呃，我我我我我的描述够清楚吗？嗯。我我我看我理解的对不对啊？呃，是不是意思是这个当前我们的指标监控是针对我们 c o s m a t c h 本身的一个监控，是主要是监控它下犯了多少实验，然后每个实验的对应的一个执行的情况是一个什么样，在什么时间点执行的？是的，是,的是监是的监控这本身的对吧？对，是它本身的。OK， 呃，是的，是的。那呃呃 ，the the question is 呃、um,。Uh, here, here, here is already uh, a uh, Grafana plugin called uh, Chaos Mesh Data Source. Um, in the uh, graph, uh, <laughs> here, here is a repo. And uh, what's the different with that plugin and uh, the, uh, the, the, the monitoring Chaos Mesh means uh, actually um, uh, we just, uh, what we just talked about Uh, with monitoring chaos mesh is uh, more about monitoring uh, its own metrics, uh, chaos mesh, uh, the, the metrics of chaos mesh components, and uh, the usage of uh, uh, the usage of that metrics data is help uh, user and developers know um, what uh, what chaos mesh looks like now, um, uh, and Let the user and developer、uh, know more about chaos mesh. And the、uh, the feature of uh uh chaos mesh Grafana data source a、uh, that Grafana plug plugin is uh it could use Graph uh it's it could it it could use chaos mesh as a data source of uh Grafana. So you could use some uh um. Chaos experiment, the、uh, chaos experiment events as、uh, annotation of your、uh, application metrics chart already existing in your 
uh, Grafana. So you could uh, mark or annotate um, on your application matrix charts with a timestamp uh, of um, when the chaos experiment start and when the chaos mesh experiment end. So uh, it's uh, two different approach uh, about monitoring. Okay, uh, you have any other questions? 最后一个就是我想知道一下那个 就是调研，因为我们看到呃，Control um,我到时候去看一下那腾讯的他们那边的那个，你看他提的那个点嘛，因为我没有看到那一点，所以我可能没有跟上你这个节奏。Okay, okay, sorry. Um, so the the question is, um, what do we, how do we implement in the uh the 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 distribution tracing uh in the uh chaos mesh? It seems uh kind of complex and uh um no sorry uh. Uh, the answer is, uh, uh, actually, uh, we did not pay uh, too much time on uh, digging into the uh, uh, tracing, and we saw that uh, <laughs> uh, we saw that the uh, library called uh, Control Runtime. Uh, it's the uh, Control Runtime is the uh, most uh, base library of uh, most uh, operator software. Uh, the control runtime would uh, integrate the open telemetry in the future. Uh, we could saw uh, this feature is writing in its roadmap. So uh, I think maybe we, we, we could uh, help uh, control runtime to finish that uh, feature. So um, in the uh, Go program, we um, uh, the only thing we the, the, the only thing we need to do is um, just pass the uh, context properly, so we could finish the uh, open. Uh, uh, we could finish the distributing uh, tracing. Uh, yes, that's all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you for all your answers. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I I see here is a question in the chat. Uh, can you please help me with the timing of HTTPS support integration as well, so that I can build it locally and verify the same sooner than two dot two release? As this is a big feature we are waiting for. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we have noticed that your comments on the uh, release to two dot two uh, issue. And um, I think uh, actually the master, the, the latest code in the master branch is already uh, supported the uh, HTTPS or the TLS. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and, we, <laughs> and we did not update our uh, documentation about how to use it. And uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, uh, and Xing'an, uh, uh, maybe is, there, is here. Yeah. Uh, and Xing'an, uh, do we need to update our CRD definition uh, to use HTTPS support? Do, 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 do we need to update our CRD? Or? I think HTTPS is uh, um, welcoming 
not now. And maybe at uh, Charles Mesh, uh, next next version of Charles Mesh release, then we we update it. Uh, because oh, oh. some of uh, some of HVPS support is not. Um, I think it, it's not it's not not work, work well now. Oh, wow. Yeah, and maybe <laughs> this feature is not stable and present. We plan to release in uh, 2.2 version, and we plan to release this and uh, in next month or uh, or uh, or uh, in, in, in in maybe if all development work is okay, we will release the this version in next month. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Hi, I, I have a question. Uh, is there uh, any way about? Oh, sorry, my Siri. Uh, is there any way to uh, build the the, the component chaos T proxy locally and use it uh, in the container uh, manually? Did you, mm, uh, I think, uh, if you if you use it in the container, it's Mm, it's it's safe, and uh, you can just uh, build it with with the T proxy config. We have a uh, we have some read. I I have write the readme, and you can just use the latest release uh, latest release of T proxy, and uh, and use it as a as a container. Maybe you should you should package the doc Docker image and uh, and use use it. Inside the the Docker image. Oh well, I so the latest release of Chaos T proxy already supports HTTPS. Uh, am oh, I right? No, 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 no. I I think I oh. think uh, that will not work well. And I will change some network network setting and uh, network part in T proxy in next month. And then I think it will. Oh, be stable. Be stable. Okay. 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 So, um, so actually, the the, the conclusion is that the support of HTTPS is not stable. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry for that. Rather, you can try <laughs> it on. I think you can try it on our latest versions and master branch, but it's, this feature is not very stable and present. Yeah. Please keep looking forward. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, did, maybe is there uh, I, I think so you can update the uh, document on our, uh, our website and uh, introduce how to use the HTTP chaos and update the update. Uh, update the, the how to use HTTPS and how to use this. I shall, you remember to update the, 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 the document about this? Uh, I will do it in the future. Uh, <laughs> just soon. Oh, uh, here is another question. Uh, how can we make uh, make use of observability in case of rate limiting uh, application? How can we make use of observability in case of rating, rate limiting? Oh, uh, oh. sorry, <laughs> I did not get your point actually. I, I think I think it is it's. I want to say you have uh, decided your, in your uh, IFC to use the uh, matrix of the application on our dashboard or just use it to use it to, uh, to, to, um, to make sure your application status and use the matrix, matrix and uh, this. Maybe you have introduced on your uh, design. Uh, we would not use that matrix data and show them on chaos dashboard it's kind of internal state of, uh, of a component so um it's not kind of uh, it's not kind of a feature to users so 
yeah, uh, uh, it's, you just will not see that data on the front page, front front end pages. But uh, I still, I still uh, have a question of the what what is the rate limiting of application? Hi, uh, the the F cell. Uh, could, could could you explain it uh, with more detail? I'm sorry, I'm not getting your point. Uh, it, it seems he 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 has been offline. Yeah. Yeah, he I think he's he he's no longer here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I think he just wants to see if the API. Uh, well called too much, then then the 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 client will be limited. So the observation is time is if if the observation called the API too much, then the will be limited. Maybe mm -hmm. just we just want to see that. Uh, maybe uh, you mean the rate limiting of the monitoring endpoint to to. to... Uh, just I to say, uh, a, a target want to be observated. He needed to send a message to to the client, but uh, the that is a frequency. If if you call the API frequency, the observation will be better. So maybe he just want to say, don't sample the 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 result. Oh, oh, actually. Uh, we did recommend the uh, script interval is uh, 30 seconds. Uh, do you mean that? <laughs> oh, sorry, I still lost. <laughs> oh, maybe we can answer the question and offline and, uh, yeah. and okay. maybe uh, try to find this uh these this attenders and uh, to make sure this question yeah i would find the yeah i would find this body in the select channel and I, I would try to talk with him yeah maybe find it on uh sorry channel and make this uh, question clear and also this All right. Uh, do we have any more questions or any issues to talk about? Uh, if and thanks, Jitian, for handling all the questions today. Um, Very welcome. Thank you again. If no one has anything else to add, I think we'll wrap this up today. It's been almost an hour, and I believe we, we've had a great session. Um, so I will, we will see you next month for our next community meeting. And in meanwhile, uh, you can visit our GitHub or Slack channel or Twitter or YouTube for updates. So make sure you follow us and see you next month. Thank you all and good night. Thanks, guys. Bye, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.